Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, I'm standing here in Derrick Street on my way to do my two coffee, but four kilometers walk down to the beach. But I have to say good morning because the sunrise is beautiful already. It's only 10 to 5. And I can't just do this ear candy walk so on my way down to the beach before I say good morning. It just becomes too long of an intro. So here goes nothing. Passing the back of La Rochelle. Still a very, very successful timeshare operation here in St. Lucia. I don't know if they've got successful sales, but they're still operational. And people still get to execute their holidays. The Aspidura. It was sold on sectional title at one point and it's now permanent accommodation for those who remember Aspidura holiday flats. The ear candy. Ooh, it's just too beautiful. Right, we've got two kilometers more. Guys, I'm in need of a Canon SX 60HS. Good, still in a good condition. If you know of anything that's lying around that somebody wants to sell, they can contact me, please. And then I need the money towards that purchase. So somebody needs to buy advertising space on the St. Lucia Experience videos. Please contact me. Look at that Mattel Robin jumping into the road in front of us. Gone. What I was looking for was channel members. I do this. St. Lucia Experience video is currently behind a paid wall. Um, you can join the channel membership. It's a minimum monthly amount that to help us to be able to make these videos. And it gets to grow the community. So guys, if you don't mind, please consider joining us as a channel member. Check this out. What the fuck, Stuart? It's way too early. Thank you. Are you going to be my ride this morning? Good morning. The tidal search was washed over again. It's late in the afternoon and early in the morning. I keep on missing it. It was quite severe, look at all the water that came over here. Lovely day here at Mapelan Bay. Slight breath of north west northwesterly. There is no spinning, but nothing coming out. No, he's gone to something. He's on to something. Ah, it's giving him a run for his money. The shed. Just a shed. So behind this dune is the controversy of the the dredging of the St. Lucia system. Behind this dune there's an area called Sukulu. And in the past the Sukulu farmers kept on pushing into conservation area. Now how important that conservation area is to the uh, survival of the planet. I have got no idea. 
I never studied it, I never got into it because it's political. But from my point of view, uh, I've got the regalia on, wait. From my point of view, I believe that we can have conservation with farmers, but if the St. Lucia system dies, it's got a huge impact on the planet. And that is to me very disconcerting that people are using the St. Lucia system to keep farmers out of conservation areas. That is very, very concerning to me. Well, as predicted, the wind picked up today. Tomorrow looks like another beautiful day. Okay, where am I going to take photos and videos today, if this is the wind? Got some nice shots from yesterday, but I still have to edit into the video. Should have done that last night, but uh, after 11 kilometers, 10, 11 kilometers walk. It was hectic, I just went Luckily to You guys watching this from my office don't have smell of vision, otherwise you would have been in trouble. It would be going flow, flying low. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind living in a free country. But can we have puff zones, please? So that I can know if I don't want the smell. I can reroute myself. Now it doesn't matter on the ground, which any corner I go, I go on a mellow trip. I nearly tripped over that mellow root. Mellow yellow. See, that's how I keep ecology alive. By not totally destroying everything that the animal's supposed to eat in the parks and open space. Well, that is about 50 kilometers an hour. Alright, let's see if we can take Pardet for a walk without being blown away. And then I've got some serious video editing to do. If I uploaded the one that I've, let me check. I edited right, the one that's uploading. Off. Let's go and sail with Pardet through town. Wind blown. Should have brought a jacket. I didn't think it's going to be this cold. Guys, is that October already? I didn't see the war dogs in Pardet, but Nia, play still. Nia, play still. She wants to play, she doesn't they recognize that the war talks is being dangerous. <coughs> Luckily it's the two ones that come up with the mother. <coughs> Compar data, shut up now. Why do you stop? Look by me. That was a frightening moment. <laughs> but it picks up the, the a stick like normal. Wait for me to tell her to go across. I didn't check if there was warthogs across the road. She chased right in between them. Luckily it was just the two that grew up with the mother here in town. Otherwise, whoo, she could have get, gotten hurt. My, my bitch could have been badly hurt now. You know they say trust science. Science is sacred. Science is so fucking sacred that we don't understand why science is cutting off the estuary and the ocean from each other and cutting off the management between from the Msundusi and Falozi River. I agree the Falozi River shouldn't have been joined with the St. Lucia, but it was. Now please explain to us so that we understand why do you are why is the scientists still killing the system? What are you preserving guys? You're not going to keep the money power away from the protein. If you kill the estuary, there's going to be no protein. That's the only way you can keep the money power away from the protein, is by killing the estuary so that there's no protein. What are you preserving? Could you please explain that to us on a public platform that the public can understand what the hell is going on? Half an hour, hour ago, it was so hot, 
I was lying without a shirt on my bed doing video editing and then it's like a snap of a finger it was so cold that I had to get under the divay and I said the hell with this I want to see what's going on I'm walking outside with just the shirt but I'm cold as hell I can't believe this is almost the middle of October past the middle of October anyway As I was thought we were it of the monkeys in town that they migrated somewhere for some reason they stole all my Chinese cherries out of the tree that was almost ripe they left me nothing these rascals left me nothing see we all met to gaan party it is not easy here and there are some people that is ignorant enough to feed them they think it's cute to feed the monkeys I cannot believe it well we're not gonna have a sunset today but we're gonna be at Sunset Jetty even though the wind is blowing us all over the place let's go and have a look Je gehoor hoe is gezond? Ha? Nou wil je moeilijkheid maak tussen hom en Nala. Kom. Ja, ons sal vir Zoos kruim te gaan stap. Ander dag, nie vandag nie. Kom. Ons moet eerst plan maak om vir jou koos van Matuba af te kry. Ons het net morgen om dit te organise. Want die naweek gaan ons nie kan koos. Kom hier. Ik krijg van mijn tiba af niet. All of a sudden, this looks very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 